Hello, I'm Tino Mosler and today I'm going to explain the installation of watermark sensors in seven easy steps. The first step is to soak the watermark sensor. Watermark sensors need to be soaked in water overnight before installation. It's very important to always install a wet sensor and never install a dry watermark. And please note that after the installation, watermarks need several irrigation cycles to reach a final accuracy in the range below 10 kPa, so in the very wet end between 0 and 10 kPa soil water suction. Second step is to choose the installation spot and auger the hole to the desired depth, which is shown here. So you have a hole like this to the desired measurement depth at the end. How to choose the best installation spot is a topic of its own, which is covered in our presentation about irrigation management by sensors, available also here on this channel. Third step is to check the desired depths. You have to use a ruler and make sure you are down to the desired measurement depths. And at the end, watermarks should sit in the bottom of the hole, like shown here. And uh, you make sure you measure in the depths you want to measure. In the fourth step, you have to collect the extracted soil. Remove rocks and organic matter from this soil and add a little bit water and mix a thick slurry out of the soil with the water. So at the end you have a consistence of honey or thin porridge. So it needs to be a thick fluid which is still possible to flow but it's not watery at all. In the fifth step, you pour a small portion of the slurry in the hole so that at the end it will sit about five centimeters deep at the bottom of the hole. Then in the sixth step, you push your watermark firmly down into the slurry. If you use a watermark without installation tube, you may need to use a thin rod to push it down fully into the slurry while if you have the installation tube, of course, you don't need to have an extra rod to push it down. Uh, in any case, it's important for cable stain relief to always fold the cable in an S form over like shown here. Uh, this applies to sensors without installation tube as well as to sensors with installation tube. The main reason for this S form for cable stain relief is to avoid that the cable is ripped out of the watermark if somebody is pulling on the cable later on after installation. Watermarks are very, very robust, but the one thing you cannot do is to rip out the cable. If this is happening, it's a permanent damage, therefore it must be avoided. So this S-form for stain relief is a good measure to avoid this. And in the seventh and final step, you have to backfill the remaining gap here above the slurry between the soil and the installation tube or between the soil and the cable. You have to make sure this is full with soil, no gaps, no holes, no cracks. And the watermark, of course, is sitting here inside the slurry, so it has an optimum soil contact via the slurry to the surrounding soil. And above, of course, this must be filled with soil to avoid any water pouring down artificially to cracks or gaps directly to the sensor, leading to false readings this way. As a result, you have the watermarks installed in the desired depths with an optimum soil contact here. Sensor has to be really good in contact with soils and above the hole is backfilled with soil with soil slurry so we don't have any preferential flow of water directly down to the watermark and with this step you are finished and can work with the watermark 
Thank you very much for your interest and please also visit our website www.mmm-tech.de. Thank you very much.